Hey everybody, Carolyn here. Today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video. I'm going to be doing another sorting new photo cards in my binder video. And as always, I'm super excited, but I'm especially excited today because this is the first time I'm filming one of these with my new tripod. And honestly, I posted about it on my Instagram story. It's been a game changer <laughs> for the kind of content that I film. I have an affiliate link, but I'm not sponsored. Um, but I just found this on Amazon recently and I bought it and it's literally changed the photo card sorting game for me. So I'm super excited. I'll go ahead and link it in my card down below if you film similar content, similar desktop content, um, and you're interested in one, I definitely would recommend. But yeah, we have a bunch of cards to put away today. Um, I have gotten a lot of trades in recently and a couple of photo card packages in and yeah, just a lot of fun stuff. We have a bunch of larger inclusions to put away today as well. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All of the supplies that I use will be linked in my card down below. You can check out my card for anything that I mention in any of my videos. Highly would recommend if for some reason you see something that's I use in my videos that's not there. Um, definitely let me know and I can add it. Also timestamps will be down below for you to just jump around as you wish throughout the video. Um, we're just all here to have a good time. If you're new to the channel, I do these every two weeks on Sundays. We call them sorting photo card Sundays and they're super fun. So yeah, if you're interested in photo card content, go ahead and hit subscribe. Also a couple of days or a day before I do a sorting photo card video, I also upload a binder maintenance video on my second channel. So if you like binder maintenance content, Highly would recommend the second channel for that. And yeah, okay, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the first binder that we're gonna be going through today is my Espa and La Seraphim binder. La Seraphim, I only have La Seraphim cards today, but La Seraphim recently announced a comeback, which is so, so exciting um, because we are finishing Chewan today, which means I am all caught up for the comeback and I am so excited to finally be all caught up. I have all three of the compact cards from Anti-Fragile that I was missing and I'm literally so excited about it. Let's just confirm. Let's just confirm that these are all of the correct compact cards. To be honest, I haven't even looked to see what the album inclusions... I mean, I looked briefly, but I haven't like set up my binder or anything for this, but soon i will set up my binder probably in a binder maintenance video on my second channel but yeah i'm so excited to be finishing this chaewon collection it's been a long time coming she is one of the more expensive members actually pretty much everybody in the seraphim is expensive <laughs> to be honest so yeah i cannot believe we're done with chaewon should we do a little flip through let's do a little flip through to celebrate wow can't believe we did it cannot believe we did it i think for next era these are the other members target cards um from unforgiven i think i'm gonna do something similar this is how i like treat txt as well is i collect ot5 for target cards um and then i just collect like yunjun for photo cards so i think i'm gonna try to do the same thing with la seraphim um just because i love all of the girlies of la seraphim and i would love to be able to collect like a little bit of their photo cards so i'm gonna do target pobs for ot5 i think um, especially now that i'm caught up with chaewon i feel like since now i just need to keep up with new eras it shouldn't be that difficult but they released a trailer and i know a lot of people had some thoughts about it but i thought it was great <laughs> i'm really excited for the comeback so anyways that that is it we'll set up in a binder maintenance video probably next binder maintenance video is when I'll set up for it. Next, we're gonna work on Infinite. I don't have a lot for Infinite today, but I do have one photo card. I have this Sungyu card, which I am super excited about. I think it goes with this set. I feel like I need to double check my template. Oh no, I was wrong. That's the hamster card. This card goes with the next set. So this is the Sungyu card. I found a trade for him, which was very exciting. And now I just need Myungsu from this set. Myungsu is, he's a difficult boy. <laughs> I'm missing, I'm only missing two Myungsu cards though, according to this. I have another trade coming in that has the other Sungyu with ears from the, from the back version. 
And that trade, I think, also has one of Myungsoo's come photo cards from this set. It's this Myungsoo. So I just need this Myungsoo and this Myungsoo. Yeah, we're going to finish this at some point. Sungyu had a, a concert fan meeting recently. And at the end of it, he posted like a weird August 2024 thing. And everyone on In Spirit Twitter was speculating what it is. I hope it's an infinite comeback. But I don't know if I want to wait till August for an infinite comeback. So kind of hoping we get an infinite comeback sooner than August. But we'll see. All right. Next, we're going to work on the miscellaneous binder. So this is a new binder that I set up in my most recent binder maintenance video on my second channel. And it is going to hold three different groups. So the first group it's going to hold is an hyphen. So I've decided to collect a little bit of Jake again. If you don't know, I used to collect Jake thoroughly and I got a little overwhelmed with the amount of photo cards and hyphen has, and I found it really hard to trade for Jake. So I ended up dropping his collection, but I listen to an hyphen's music a lot and I really do enjoy it. And I love Jake so much. I miss collecting him. And also the albums are in Target now. So they're like super easy access for me. So I'm going to be collecting a little bit of Jake every single era. So for Dark Blood, I collected both of, I think these are both of his engine version ones. And then here I have one of his engine versions from Orange Blood. And then this is from the, the Kalpa version, I think, but this was a freebie from a trade. Somebody gifted me this Jake card. So yeah, I don't really know what my Jake collection is gonna look like fully yet because I definitely don't wanna go back and collect Jake because that sounds like it would be very difficult. But I think if I just collect like at least his engine version every single era, that would be fun. But yeah, I would love to have his other engine card. And then also, I don't know. I don't know what else I want from this era, but I think I wanna get like a little bit of Jake every single era. I really do like buying and hypens albums in Target too, so. I think it would be fun to just have a little space. Um, okay, moving back here. Oh, I forgot to create fillers for in between the groups. I apologize. Um, but this section is going to hold one packed. So I've decided to collect Jungwoo's cards. Besides like my biases who debuted in ZB1, so like besides Gonok, besides Hanbin, and besides Matthew, Jung was my favorite trainee of Boys Planet. I really loved him and I admired him so much and I'm so glad he debuted in a group. Um, so I definitely think I wanna start collecting his cards. This is one of his platform version cards. So I would love to at least collect this. I find it really hard to find trades for one packed photo cards. I'm gonna have to see what the buying game is like on like Makari Japan. Um, so I don't know if I want to collect him fully or not, but for right now, I'm going to put his cards here. Um, he does have like another one. He has a couple more cards that I'm going to put here. So for right now, that's what I'm going to do. And the other group that's in here is EXO. I don't think I'm ever going to collect Schumann fully again, but I did get these cards. Well, I got his album version. I pulled Suho and then I got this card while I was in Korea last year and i want to keep it so anyways this is just the little miscellaneous binder i'm trying not to think too much about it because i'm not really a good miscellaneous binder kind of person i don't like to just casually collect things a lot of the times i want to like be able to buy albums that i really enjoy without feeling like i need to fully collect someone you know so yeah I don't know. I need to make like a highlight on my trade sale Instagram and just title it like miscellaneous binder and then have like figure out what I want to get from Jake and what I want to get from Jongwoo and if I ever want to collect more Schumann like I can put templates in there or like anybody else honestly because there's lots of room in this binder I could put somebody else in here but that's it for this binder. Real quick we're going to go into the Stray Kids Min Chan Pob binder. This binder is for Maxident, Five Star, and Rockstar. So I recently got some new Minchan Pobs <laughs> from Makari Japan because they're beautiful. Okay, so I want to start collecting a little bit more for Rockstar era um, outside of Korea because yeah, and I also want to get the Who's Fan Korea Pobs at some point, but these were HMV Lucky Draws and I need to take 
need to take one of them out so you can see how hollow it is so you can understand <laughs> why i had to get it but this was a hmv lucky draw and so for the lucky draw you could either get a card that isn't hollow or you could get a hollow card um and i bought the hollow cards for both chen and lino because why would i not you know if i had to choose between hollow and not hollow why why would i not choose hollow you know and then let me show you the lino one too it's so pretty so yeah there's a couple of other cards in this concept um so i think i'm gonna try to get one more of those and so then i can fill up this page and then i want to get some lucky draws and stuff i just was on a buying hiatus for a long time especially while i was transitioning to my new job um but yeah i get my first paycheck from my new job this upcoming thursday and i'm excited to <laughs> to actually fully be able to like spend money on k-pop again because i took a little break there around the holidays to buy christmas presents and other things yeah i definitely want to get some more rockstar stuff um before before they have a chance to announce a tour or whatever but this binder is so full i definitely need a new pop binder for next era but yeah that's all i had to put away today all right next we're gonna work on ive and we need to go into both ive binders today but we'll start with the album card binder i am making progress on ive mine and i'm so excited about it because i i think the ive girlies are gonna announce another comeback soon to be honest i they hinted at an american album so like yeah and the u.s portion of the world tour starts in march i know that they're on their world tour right now i think they were in bangkok recently anyways i think they're gonna be busy for a little bit but i also feel like we're probably gonna get like a late spring early summer comeback is my guess if they don't release another japanese single beforehand because that's also possible but yeah so i've got a bunch of i've album cards and i'm so freaking excited um i bought a couple bundles on makari japan and i was i was very excited about it i'm still excited about it so this either way version i don't have any either way cards today i do have some off the record cards so i have yujin kyle and liz so i'm just missing ray for this version now daddy version i have kyle and yujin as well so i'm just missing liz and so for this version now nice and for the loved eye version i have liz's card so i'm just missing yujin and kyle for this one so yeah this is definitely a priority set for me now i really want to get this finished especially before twice's comeback because i also collect full group for twice and i would really love to at least have all of these cards secured and i'm not that far away from them i'm a little worried about the play version i've looked up a couple of members photo cards and they've all been fairly expensive so hopefully i can find those i definitely need to do another makari japan haul soon i think i want to get one more wave photo card here too to kind of fill up this page so yeah then we'll be all caught up with ive which i would really love to be caught up with ive very soon because Again, I just feel like they're going to be a group that releases a lot of things this year, especially with Monster X in the military. I feel like Starship is going to be doing a lot of IVE, which I love because I love collecting IVE, but I want to keep up with it. So anyways, that is it for the IVE album card binder. Next, we're going to move into the non-album binder for IVE and... Uh, we're gonna go to the show what I have, the like extra call section because I do have this call card. I was able to trade for, I think this is a her binder card, maybe? It's either the photo card binder or the photo card holder card. I'll, I'll write which one it is, but I have both up for trade. I bought both, I didn't pull either of call, but I was able to find a trade, so yay. So yeah, I'll just need the other merch card to fill up this page. And yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be that. I, I don't know. I was thinking about getting like a superstar equivalent for Kyle for 
this they're not that expensive call is not like a super expensive member thankfully but i don't know i don't i don't know if i want to do that <laughs> um we'll see but yeah and then the trading card game i was able to find a trade for one card i was missing so yeah i probably will start looking into buying these as well because yeah oh my god i forgot about the season's greeting set back here so cute and then i want to look for the rest of the starship square pubs too for that so yeah lots of progress on ive coming soon i definitely need to do like an ive focused haul because i just feel like i have a lot of holes with ive right now and i really don't like that so we're gonna fill those in next we're gonna go into unvi so i am slowly making progress on my unvi collection I'll go ahead and pop up my current template. I feel like I'm making some really nice progress on it. I'm so close to finishing the Umbi collection and I've been finding more of our cards recently, but again, I was on a buying hiatus and I was really trying to like stick to my buying hiatus rules, which were pretty much like, if it's not a Monstax or Stray Kids, like super rare thing I've been looking for, don't buy it. <laughs> Those were pretty much my rules. I was like, if it's not like in the, the five photo cards that I've been looking for for Monstax for like ever or like something super rare for Stray Kids I've been looking for, don't buy it. But anyways, I have two, one other Unbi package on the way with some album cards, but this is one of her Polaroids from Lethality. So there were six of these total. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this as number one. It's not shown on a lot of templates, these Polaroids, but yeah, I think now I have, I think I have one more coming in that other package. So I think I'm missing two, but yeah, I'm hoping to finish these Polaroids and yeah, I really want to finish this Unbi collection super soon. I need to go through this binder. I've slowly been going through each binder and redoing the sleeves. This needs to be, well, actually I've been pretty good with Unbi, at least for like, well, no, I have to replace some of these. Anyways, I'm trying to do like a little bit at a time because obviously I need to buy more Titan Shield sleeves, um, but I'm trying to Titan Shield sleeve everything in every binder, which is a lot, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, like I'm super, super close. I'm missing two the flash photo cards. Oh my gosh. And then for lethality, I think I'm gonna need to like put this card over here. I'm actually going to switch these. I was thinking about this the other day and then I never actually went and did it. So I'm doing it right now since we're in here anyways. Not quite a few cards. I'm missing not that many cards and I really hope that I can finish this super soon. I'd love to finish it before she announces a comeback, but that's pretty unrealistic. So I would love to at least be like, I don't even know if I'm less than 10 cards away right now, but if I'm not, I would love to be less than 10 cards away. Okay, so we're going into the large infinite binder slash golden child binder because I actually have golden child cards to put away today. Isn't that fun? It's been a hot minute since I've put golden child cards away on the channel. I did go through and resleeve this whole binder. I redid a lot of the pages. It took me so freaking long. <laughs> it took me forever, but I did go through and like resleeve everything and set up for Chang Jun and Sung Yoon's like photo cards I was missing. So these are from Tata. So there's five cards per member for Tata. For Aura, I think is the next album. So Aura, each member has six cards. So I've set this up as a six pattern. And then for Feel Me, Sung Yoon was enlisted, so he's not in that album, but Chang Jun is. And he has four cards, and then I figured I would just make it a five pattern and try to get like a pre-order benefit somewhere. But I had someone reach out to me on Instagram and they had some leftover cards from a group order. And so they sent me one of, two of Chang Jun's cards, um, both from the same version of Feel Me, which was really, really nice. So. Thank you so, so much to that person. If you are watching this video, I hope you are, um, but they wanted to encourage me to start collecting Golden Child again. And they were like, what if I just sent you some cards, which was so nice. So I have a couple of blonde Jung Jun cards today. And yeah, I'm not really missing that much. So I don't remember when Sung Yoon gets discharged, but hopefully I can finish 
and like get caught up before then. I would really like that. So yeah, they gave me those. And then they also gave me both of Chang Jun's Polaroids. So Chang Jun has one Polaroid per version um, and they had both of his. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on the back here. Actually, you know what? Let me grab my corner tabs and let's do this properly today because I don't have a tripod in between me and my desk, which means I should be able to do that now. I love collecting larger inclusions, but I hate having them move around in my binder. So these corner tabs are, are a game changer for real. I really love them. So anyways, we're gonna put tabs on the corners here. And yeah, so those are both of Chang Jun's Polaroids back there now as well, which is really exciting. I'm really excited to work on my Golden Child collection. I'm really not missing a lot of photo cards. Um, I should go through and switch these out for my coming soon um, photo card holders because I think that will match this binder better. But anyways, like these ones, so, so they're, they're not like the half missing photo card and have coming soon but yeah i'm excited i hope i can find the rest of Chang june's cards from this album pretty easily um and then also aura has six cards per member so i'm a little worried about that but hopefully it's not too bad but yeah that's it for this binder today all right so next we're gonna work on twice i'm so excited for twice's comeback i'm also very excited to change this to a white binder i haven't done it yet but when that first paycheck hits, I need to finish replacing all of my binders because there's quite a few that I want to replace. I'm gonna do better fillers for this at some point and they're probably gonna announce a, a Nemo version. I know they are, <laughs> but it's fine for right now. Um, for Jihyo today, I do have the last two Jihyo cards I was missing from Zone. So that's really exciting. This is her last Digipack card. And then this is just one of the cards from the last version. So we'll put these away. And then I am going to try to get like a pov or something. And just like, maybe I'll do this. And just like fill out this page. So I'm going to try to get like one more pov or something to put there. Probably whatever I can find on Pokemarket because I need to ship out a Pokemarket haul soon. Um, I don't need to, but like there's been stuff sitting there for months, so I probably should prioritize filling that up soon. Um, but yeah, I want to get at least like one more pop or something for her. But yeah, and then we'll be done with Miss Jihyo. And then the last thing I have here is someone gifted me this Tahyun card from Twice's 2019 World Tour. So this is really, really cute. So I thought that I would put this in here as well. And then that is it until the twice comeback or until I get that last um, that last card, but I'm so excited for it. I really can't wait. I cannot wait to collect a new twice era. It feels like it's been so long since ready to be. And yeah, if you don't know, I collect OT9 twice. So yeah, very excited to collect another OT9 album and to listen to a new twice album. Oh, I can't wait, but yeah, that's it for this binder today. Okay, so next we're going to do ZB1 and large eye inclusions. So starting off with the ZBs, where are we starting today? Here, I think. So I have the last Hanbin card I needed from Youth in the Shade. So he is officially caught up besides besides the new era but like I'm almost done with him for the new era as well so yay if you don't know I started collecting Hanbin during melting point era so I collected Gonok and Matthew during melting or during youth in the shade era um and then I decided to pick up Hanbin later on so anyways I had to go back collect those cards and then we have a couple of melting point cards today and by a couple I mean we have <laughs> one Gunnok loyalty card I don't really know where to put him I'll just put him at the top for right now I think both of his cards are pretty similar for this album or for this version so just missing the other Matthew and the other Gunnok from this version and then I have yet to get these cards. And then I thought I had, I think I have this at Pokemarket. 
Um, and then this Hanbin Mystery one is the one where he's in the white sweatshirt and I have not purchased it yet. <laughs> so I need to purchase these four cards. And then this group order is still coming. I think it arrived to my Gom's address recently, but I don't think they have started collecting for like domestic or whatever. I'll have to double check. I'll have to look into that. I feel like it's been a while since that group chat has been updated. But yeah, and then I don't have either of Matthew's fairy tale cards yet. That's definitely like top of my priority because he is my bias. So like, what's going on here, Carolyn? <laughs> Cute. And then here we have the Digipack cards. And then for the Digipack version, I decided to collect the jump up digipack pops because look at them they're so cute i just really liked these pops to be honest um and so i decided to collect this set it doesn't really match but it's like kind of a school theme i don't know <laughs> it's fine um but yeah i decided to collect this set for the pops i freaking love these cards so much so i'll put these away I'll be honest, I do fight the urge every day to collect like all of Matthew's pobs because they're so cute, but ZB1 just have too many pobs. So I think I'm gonna, I talked about this on Twitter, I think I'm gonna turn him into an S Coops, which is a dangerous thing to say because like y'all know how I feel about S Coops. He is the actual love of my life. So I think I'm gonna do a nine pocket page for each era for just Matthew pobs because I'm like for Youth in the Shade and for Melting Point, I did collect some Gonok and Hanbin pods. So besides that, like besides that, I think I'm going to end up collecting some more Matthew pods because they're really cute and I really want to. That's where we're at. And then let me just put this here. So somebody gifted me this as a freebie. So it's from Youth in the Shade era. I said I wasn't going to collect these things for Matthew, but I've decided... To maybe do it. I don't think I'm gonna store this. I think I'll just keep this like elsewhere in my desk, but I do want to store this guy. Also, it fills up this page nicely. I don't know if I'll get his other one. I probably should. I probably should because like for Melting Point, I collected all of Matthew's like larger inclusions. I don't really know what we're doing yet, but anyway, so I'm gonna put this Matthew here. Very cute. And then, okay, so here I do have Matthew's mystery version postcard. So this is all done. And then I am still missing Hanbin and Gonok's um, fairy tale version postcard. So I do need to get those. Also, update I did, I did uh, put fillers behind here and secure everything down. I know in the last video it looked really bad, but it looks better now. Um, and then on the back of. Season's greetings, Matthew. We are going to put Matthew's loyalty postcard. He's the only member I'm collecting for this because it's a large postcard and I just don't want to collect three of these. I would rather just collect one, um, but I didn't want to not collect Matthew, you know, because I have Matthew brain rot 24 seven. Oh my God, his pink hair. I need them to announce some like pink hair pops for Matthew because, and some like blonde hair pops for Changao. That's dangerous. I should not be looking at Chengao cards, like, at all. <laughs> like, I really should not be looking at his cards. I love him, though. Like, if I could collect a fourth member as EV1, which I wouldn't even consider, really, to be honest. No, don't think about it, Carolyn. But it would be Chengao, like, or Jiung. I love them. I love everybody in ZV1. Like, I'm not even joking. Next era, I'm gonna end up with some OT9 pop sets. Like, it's not good around here. The brain rot, it's bad. Also, I'm not going to, I know that they're performing at Crazy LA. I'm not going because I want to go to their world tour later in the year. And I feel like I, like I love seeing them at KCON and if they're on the KCON list, like I definitely want to go to KCON as long as there are like groups that I enjoy on the KCON set list this year for the KCON lineup. But I, and I wouldn't mind seeing ZB1 again at KCON. Um, because I feel like they're gonna, I don't know, I just didn't want to see them at Crazy, I didn't want to see them at another festival, like, I want to see them at their own concert, but my exception will be KCON, because they're an Mnet group, <laughs> so, like, 
I mean, they're going to be doing the like special stages and stuff again um, there. So anyways, I'm really jealous, especially because Matthew and Ricky are going to be the MCs. I'm like, oh, I want to be there to see Matthew and Ricky. I'm so jealous of everyone going. But I was just like, I cannot go to LA in February. Like it's just too, too short of notice. But anyways, that's that. Moving on to Ive. Um, we do have some Ive large inclusions today, which is fun. I'm trying to collect large items for Ive, but it is in fact a struggle. So I don't think I need all of these. I definitely don't need this one. For this version, I have Eugen, which I don't know why I put Kull here. So I'm gonna move her down here. So I'm missing Ray, Guanyang, and Liz. Oh wait, I have Liz. I was like, I feel like I had, <laughs> I do have Liz. Okay, so I have Liz. Um, so I'll put her here. So I am missing Ray and Wan Young for this version for the photos. And then here, I think this one goes with this version. And this one goes with this version. Anyways, so I have Liz for this version. So for this version, I am missing Wan Young. I'm missing um Kal and Eugen. But yeah, that one goes there, and then this Eugen goes with this version. So yeah, if you have any extras of these photos, I really do want to collect OT6 for these. For this last version, I'm missing everybody. <laughs> I'm missing Kal, Ray, Wan Young, and Iso. So if you have them, please let me know. I would love to collect OT6 for these photos. And it's really hard to find people who are like selling them. Um, so if you are, please let me know. Reach out to me on my trade sale Instagram. I would love to buy them from you. Okay, back here. So for the mini Polaroids, I have... I pulled Eugene, which I already have her. Um, so I'm missing Ray here. And then I needed Liz. So I got Liz in a bundle. I'm trying, y'all. I really do want to be a large inclusion collector for Ive. And really, I need Ive to like come back at a time where... Stray Kids or Monstax aren't doing anything. So, and twice, I guess. So buy more albums than I did last time. Also put your albums in Target, please. <laughs> please put your albums in Target. Even though I had the worst Target experience today, I went there to buy one, two, seven albums and it was, it was, it was a really bad experience. <laughs> I had a really bad time. Um, but anyways, so that's that. So I'm just missing ESO for that. I did end up putting paper behind these. I don't know. I liked the messages on the back, but I hated seeing, being able to see through it, so. And then in the two pocket section, um, we are missing Eugen and Liz, both of which I got on my Makari Japan bundles. Great. So I'm gonna put these away. And that's it for these, like the stickers are all done, which is amazing. I'm so excited that I was able to do that. Yeah, I would love to have this whole album done before I see Ive live in March. I'm seeing them at the end of March, which is great. I'm ex so excited. I don't know what I'm going to wear. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. I haven't even thought about it, to be honest. I cannot wait. I have sound check and send off, too. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited for that. But yeah, so that's that. And then Liz. All right, so we have all six of... The stickers now and yeah that is it for this binder so making some good progress in here and i'm excited these two photo cards are on my desk right now that's why they're not in there all right so i have a one -oh card to put away today everybody cheered i forgot about this card look how cute oh, i miss him every day i miss him every day it's time, besties. Remember last time I talked about <laughs> how I was getting the trifecta of cards, which really is five photo cards. I thought about it a little more and it's five photo cards, but today we're putting away the second, third, and fourth of those five photo cards for Monstax and Wano. And um, I'm thrilled, honestly. Like I cannot even believe that that this is real life. This is one of those bittersweet album card section. This is the jewel case version. Cause for some reason I struggle 
with the jewel case version every time. One of my mutuals, Michelle, reached out to me on Instagram. We're mutuals on both Twitter and Instagram, but they reached out to me on Instagram and they were like, hey, I noticed that you posted about this Wano card that you were missing and I actually see it on German eBay um, because she's from Germany and she was like, can I buy it for you and like help you get it and I was like oh my gosh yes like I will pay for the card the shipping from the eBay seller to you and shipping to me and so yeah that's how I finally got this one card <laughs> through a German proxy <laughs> through a mutual being a German proxy for me it was worth it though totally worth it oh my god oh my god I was so excited when they messaged me and were like I see this card like I can buy it for you not that they paid for it themselves. Like, I paid them for it. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't get it for free, but... Oh, my God. Finally being done with the Bittersweet Album cards in 2024. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that it would have taken this long? Anyways, I am missing a couple pop sets for Bittersweet still. So, I need to replace these sleeves. But, on in Asia still. And then I think it's... Beat Road? Yeah, Beat Road 2. I'm still missing. So if you have those cards, please let me know. I do look for them on Makari Japan all the time and I can't find them. So <laughs> so if you have them, please let me know. I would love to buy them from you. But that's it for Mr. Wano today. The third and the fourth card both go in this binder. So let's do this next. So first we're going to go to Juby section and I finally... I don't know what it is with Starship and just like printing less of one unit, <laughs> one digipack card. Like why? But oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay, we have him. Um, also spoiler. Oh my gosh. But anyways, we have Juby's jewel case two card. Incredible. I cannot believe, cannot believe that I found this. Oh my God. I can't believe that I found this. This is amazing. So this page is done. I have all of Juby's album cards. I'm just missing some pops from him as well. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna start working on these like pops and stuff. These cards don't count as like my high priority cards, like my five high priority cards. They're just like other pops I'm gonna get throughout the year, um, especially with everybody enlisted except for Changyun and Shonu. Like, I am just really taking my time with all of this. Um, but yeah, so that's it for Juby today. I, I'm going to do a template for Juby, Chungyun, and Shonu and Hyungwon, like leftover cards that I'm still missing from all three albums. I need to make like a master list template. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to do it. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. I really need to do it though because it's annoying having so many templates missing just a couple of cards on each one. Um, okay, next for Shonu and Hyungwon. Wow, who would have thought? Who would have thought we would finally find this card? I've been looking for it since August. Oh, I paid more for it than I really wanted to, but... Somebody reached out to me on Instagram and saw it for sale on Makari US and I scooped it up so quickly, so quickly. I literally like can't even believe. And it was funny because I clicked the Makari link and the Makari link wasn't working. And so I had to go to Makari US and then I typed it in and I typed it in wrong the first time and it wasn't popping up. And I was like, I need to find this card. So these were from KCON LA last year. I ended up with only pulling Shonu and instead of going back and buying more cards probably because I also bought like eight um Stray Kids cards and I also bought an Ive card and I was like done buying cards from the Superstar booth um I didn't end up buying any more to try to pull this Shonu or to pull this young one rather um so I've been trying to trade Shonu for him ever since I tried to trade him during KCON um and I I couldn't so anyways I think I'm gonna switch this actually so that both the glasses cards are together and now we have all four superstar cards cannot believe oh my god you know how crazy i've been going trying to find this card those of you who reach out to me and send me links to things are lifesavers like with my luck this card would have been gone anyways now i have an extra one of this shonu I need to I need to sell him. I need to figure out what I want to price him at though. You had to pay twenty dollars to get a card, 
So I'm thinking about just listing him at $20 um, just to like get the money back that I paid for this card. But if you're interested, let me know. Message me on my trade sale Instagram. I will probably change his listing to um, want to sell um, soon. But yeah, for Shona and Hyungwon, I'm missing the stupid Starship Square jewel case cards because Starship Square ran out during pre-orders for jewel cases. Whatever, Starship. <laughs> Whatever, Starship. You're annoying. <laughs> And then I'm still missing Soundwave, Ooh, the Soundwave cards. And then I did end up buying the Namiel card set because I needed four more cards and to like fill this these pages up. And one of my mutuals on Twitter um, was selling extra cards. And she was like, I know that you weren't planning on buying these, but I have extra cards. And she sold them to me for a really good price too, so... I did buy the Namiel cards from the Unseen and I'm gonna incorporate them into these merch pages or like something. I'll incorporate one of these sets because I can always like move that away. But I do need the Soundwave 1 pobs and the Starship Square Jewel Case pobs and then like the rest of the merch stuff. But thankfully I've been able to find a couple trades for merch stuff. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, that's it for Monstax today. Just a couple cards, but you know, We'll expand upon this soon. I have goals for this year. All right, so here is the 17-1 binder. I just have a couple cards to put away in here today. So I was able to find a couple of trades for some older Jonghan and Joshua cards that I was looking for. So this one is from Your Choice and this one is from Hengare. I think it's the same on both pages. Like this is my middle card, yeah. So I'll just put them on the front page here so close i'm so close with this doing this before 17's next comeback like finishing these would be great but honestly i'm just trying to like take my time with it especially for jung han's cards because he is a more expensive member but i am done with like scoops and joshua for all this and dino i collected a couple of dino cards and then for your choice this is from this set so I'm missing one Joshua here and then all of Jung Han's cards, but again, <laughs> taking my time with Jung Han because he is expensive. So anyways, these are the only sets that I'm like going back and doing 95 line for. Like I've been collecting scoops since 2015. Um, so I should replace these sleeves. They're ultra pro, which is fine. I like ultra pro as a, <laughs> I like ultra pro as a brand, just I don't like their white sleeves very much. Um, so yeah, we're making progress here, slowly but surely. Definitely like current eras are more of a priority for me, but I am all done. No, I'm not, I'm not done with 17th Heaven. That's right, I'm missing two cards. Oh, that's gotta be a priority too when I get paid. That's gotta be a priority because that's annoying. <laughs> I'm missing two cards from 17th Heaven and one of them is S Coops, like, who even am I? How am I missing an S-Coops card? 17-2. <laughs> um, we have a couple of, uh, I say larger inclusions, but really they're like the corner tab things. So we have a couple corner tabs to put away today, which is fun. So I do have Dino for this set. This was actually a gift from Michelle. So I'm like, thank you so much, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle helped me find a Wano card and then sent me a Dino corner tab that I was still missing. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to put this one away and this will be done. Is this our first set we're finishing? Oh my god, it is. That's an exciting day. I need to finish these so bad. I hate these. <laughs> I hate them. But I'm too close. I can't give up now. <laughs> I have to finish what I started. 17, please. This is why they only gave us like one large inclusion for um 17th heaven because they saw me suffering and they were like we can't put carolyn through that again as coop saw me suffering he was like carolyn's gonna lose her mind if we give corner taps again not allowed to do it i can't believe those are done okay and then we have one more we have one more and it's from this set i don't even remember what this set is called anymore it's been so long but anyways i have jung han for this set so i'm just missing s coops here which again how am i missing s coops like what a fake fan how am i missing s coops so if you have s coops please <laughs> i'm begging help me finish this and then on for the second set i'm missing um 
Jung Han. So if you have Jung Han or his coops, I'm literally down to two corner tabs. Gonna go scour Makari Japan and see if they're they're hanging out there. I want to be done so bad with these. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're down to two. One Jung Han, one S Coops, and then we'll be done. Why did I why did I do them like this? I should swap those. I'll do it later. <laughs> It looks weird. I'll do it later. I'm not doing it now. Yeah, Seventeen are also releasing a new fan meeting DVD in February, and I think I'm gonna try to get it. That's just that's just kind of the way I am these days. All right. So next up is ATs and Rise. So, all right, we're going back to Will era. <sighs> okay, let's do it. I have a lot of cards for this actually, which is very exciting because. I feel like I've been waiting for a lot of trades to come in and they're all finally here. So I both of Hong Jung's Digipack cards. So my plan was to do the gold back Digipack card on this page in the center. I'm still missing both of these cards. So hopefully those come in soon. And then the silver Digipack card goes on the platform version page. Nice. And speaking of platform version, I have two platform cards for Hong Jung as well. So I have his standing one and then I have his like heart selfie, which I think is this. Cool. So we're just missing three more. I'm still missing one of his Polaroid cards, but I do have the other two cards coming. So that's fun. Moving back to Yuno, know, I have a lot of Yuno know, today. What are we even gonna do with all this Yuno? Know? Okay, so I have his gold Digipack card, his target card, which I already have. How did I end up with a second Yuno know, target card? I don't know. I <laughs> ended up with that up for a sale or trade or something. Um, oh my gosh. This is Walmart. Both of those cards. These are platform cards. Okay. When I tell you Yuno you know, really was so easy to collect this era, it definitely got me thinking about future eras and like what I was gonna do for him. I really do feel like I could collect him moving forward. Like, I don't wanna go back. I, ATs have too much stuff. I don't wanna go back. <laughs> I really don't wanna go back, but I, I could go forward. I think we could go forward. Look how pretty this page is. I can't wait until I get the last two Hong Jung cards. It's gonna be so nice oh my gosh this page looks so good and then for his platform version i have two of his platform cards so i have his cheek heart selfie and then i have his image card i think is what i'm calling this his platform image card what does that even mean nobody knows <laughs> does kq even know no nobody knows yeah, and then I have the last two of these cards coming in a trade, which is really exciting. So I'll be done. I'll be done with you now. And then moving on back here, we have our bestie page, which is the sticker page. And by bestie page, I mean like I suffer every day because <laughs> of this page. Okay, so we're going to reorganize this. I was thinking about it recently, how I wanted to reorganize it. So I'm going to put this here. And we'll do this Hong Jun here. I don't know if I have a version you know, but I do have both of the Z version stickers. So I'm gonna put those away, okay? And then there's also a platform version sticker and the Digipack sticker. They're the same. The only difference between them is the border. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get Hong Jung's platform sticker. If you have it, please, please let me know. Um, but I'm going to put Yuno here. And then in the middle here, I'm going to put Hong Jung's silver sticker. And then on this next page, I'm going to put Yuno's gold sticker here. And then just like call it a day. I'm only two stickers away from everything that I need. I only want to try to get those um to complete the set so if you have either of them or no so you know hong jung if you have either of them let me know yeah and then on this page i was able to trade somebody for the european hong jung card i do have european you know on the way as well which is very exciting european hong jung up here european exclusive hong jung 
and then European exclusive. You know, we'll go here and then I'll just get like one more pub set. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but, but yeah. And then for back here, I don't have anything today. I just kind of wanted to like check in. I do still need this Mingi, I'm pretty sure. And then I still need Hong Jung's Barnes and Noble exclusive. I don't know where that trade is. And then someone, you know, so I'm thinking about just buying them and not buying more Barnes and Noble albums, but the prices for those are so insane always. So somebody gifted me Chongo's postcard from Outlaw Era, which is so exciting because he was the only member I didn't pull. Like I pulled everybody else. I didn't have to trade for any of these. So I only needed Chongo's. But back here, I really want to collect OT8 for these, at least for this set. I have Hong Jung's. Somebody gifted it to me, which was really, really nice. So obviously we got to put Hong Jung first. Hong Jung, Sung Hwa, Yoo Yo Yo Sang, and then San, right? Yo Sang, San, Ming Gi, Jong -ho. I need another three pocket. Okay. So yeah, if you have any of these postcards, like extras of them and you want to sell them to me, that would be great. I really want to collect OT8 for these. I don't know if I want OT8 for these or the units. I definitely want to get the last unit or no, I want to get the other one of this unit of the San Hongjung Yosang one. So I want to get the third one for that. And then I want to, if I'm collecting OT8 for this set, then maybe I should collect OT8 for this set. I don't know. If you have extra postcards that I'm missing, message me on my trade sale Instagram. I need to think about <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Oh, we have to do Rise too. Oh my God, I'm so used to not doing Rise. We get to do Rise today. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is such a long time coming. I'm so excited to actually be able to do this today. So I have a ton of Sunshine cards. I have seven cards total. So we're gonna set this up as a seven pattern. And uh, I mean, I only collect one member for Rise. I can do whatever I want, basically. I can always do whatever I want, but like, you know, <laughs> I can do whatever I want. And we're gonna set up a seven pattern. So I bought both of Sung Chan's Rise and Realize photo cards on Makari. They both came with Korean pobs and then I collected three US exclusive pobs. I'm gonna do the Rise card on the left here. So we'll do the album cards in the middle. The Realize card, I'm trying to figure out which card I wanna put in the middle here. Maybe this one. So this is Barnes and Noble A card, which was impossible for me to find for so long. I put him here. I have the two Korean pops and then the other two American pops. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe we'll do this. I feel like that might look better. I'm putting the hollow one in the middle. Just kidding. It's very different from the rest of them. But yeah. Sung Chan. Complete. Yay. <laughs> Until next era. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> because this was easy. This was like SM being so incredibly easy. And SM are never easy. So I'm really scared for Rise's next album. But yeah. Just gonna try to keep up with it. Also, this era was originally super hard because Sung Chan and uh, Shotaro were so much more popular than everybody else, it felt like. It felt like it was impossible to trade for like their photo cards. And I feel like as Rise have been a group longer and more people gotten to know the other members, like it's kind of evened out a little bit more, um, which is good because yeah. But yeah, so I feel like it'll be a little better next time. But yay, Song Chan is done. Complete till next comeback. That makes me so happy. Oh, anyways, that's it for this binder today. Okay, we're pulling out a My Collection binder real quick because I forgot to do this earlier when I was doing the small binders. So I ended up buying both Lino and Jongin's signed five star postcards. Lino is just not here yet, but hopefully he comes soon. Jungin came in the mail. He's already asleep, so I'm going to put him here. And then we will have OT8 for 5 star, which is kind of crazy. Or rock, yeah, 5 star. <laughs> OT8 for 5 star, so that's fun. 
And then I also should have Chan's postcard coming soon for this. So then I'm only collecting my top four, which is three Racha and Lino um, for five star. Cause yeah, bring back the signed photo cards next time JYP. What was with doing them for one era and then never again? I don't understand. And then finally going into the Stray Kids 2 binder, we have some Rockstar cards to put away. So starting here, I, between my group order and everything, I was able to pull, oh wait, no, we had to go into Stray Kids 1, 2 today. I didn't realize that. Oh man, got too many Stray Kids things going on right now. This whole expanding the collection thing. <laughs> I got a lot going on, a lot more than I used to. Okay, so I have Singman's headliner version. I ended up with an extra Hyunjin from my group order, which sounds like, oh, I just kept Hyunjin because he's easy to trade, but like, no, I literally pulled so many Hyunjins. I had leftovers after giving everybody in my member claim a Hyunjin who wanted one, so, or needed one for their collection. So anyways, I traded him for Singman. Yay. Let me fix Jisung real quick. So this set is all done. I love the headliner set, especially the backs. They're so pretty. Okay, moving on to the postcard. I have the four postcard pops that I was missing. Thank God I was able to trade these. Bless stays for real because one thing about, one thing that's good about there being so many of us is trading for Stray Kids. So easy. <laughs> really so easy. Like I never have any issues with it. Okay, so we have Lino, Jisung, Felix, and Sungmin. Sungmin really avoided me this comeback. Pretty rude, honestly. <laughs> Yay, that's done. Okay, and then for the postcard selfies, we have the three members I was missing. So Lino, Jisung, and Chongin. Lino and Jisung. Something about Minsung also avoided me a lot this era. I barely pulled them, it felt like. Yay, oh my gosh. So happy that's all done. This is, it was a full set. This is something I'm still working on. I have Felix to add to the group today. I do have Hyunjin on the way. And then I just need, just need Lino, Changbin, and Jisung. I think I'm going to have to buy them, which I was trying to avoid doing. But, because I don't, I didn't really want to spend money on these. I wanted to like trade for them. Um, but I think I'm going to have to buy them, which is whatever. I am going to have to find a better way to secure them too. I don't like how they move around so much. What a random inclusion, JYP. Anyways, that's that. Let me grab the Stray Kids one binder real quick. We have a couple cards to add there as well. All right, here's the Stray Kids one binder. Um, starting off, I have a couple of Changbin cards to add today. Just two of them. So this one's from Levanter, and then this one's from Go Live. Cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Two sorting photo card videos in a row where I had cards to add to Changbin. Amazing, beautiful, we love to see it. And then the go live orange double-sided card. Yay, amazing. And I have a couple of pending purchases for Changbin cards as well from people. And then I'm gonna start looking on like Makari Japan and stuff as well. So hopefully start filling in some of this. Um, and then I have one more card to put away today. So going back to the No Easy set, I'm still still missing a couple of pods here. And then I still missing Hyunjin for the selfie cards, which I kind of knew Hyunjin was going to be the last member I was going to get. Um, but here is Sungmin's selfie. So yay. I did not collect OT8 during no easy era because I was overwhelmed. So I'm going back and doing it now because yeah. Um, so yeah, I just need Hyunjin here and then I need Hyunjin, Felix, and Jungin here. Also gonna start searching maybe on Makari Japan for those too. I think we did it. <laughs> we'll go back to this page because we have two of the three Changbin cards on this page, but Anyways, that is it for my sorting new photo cards in my binder video for today. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you ever want to trade or sell to me, this is my trade sale Instagram. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.